must open your heart to the holy gospel of the animals and pray to our Lord Tofu. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, you told me, please Bobby, react to the vegan teacher. But guys, let's face it everybody has already reacted to the vegan teacher literally everybody is chasing clout chasing clicks with the vegan teacher most of the times those people make a compilation out of all the crazy things that the vegan teacher said and they upload yet again another vegan teacher video this is not what i want to do i simply want to answer your request and react to the vegan teacher in the classical fashion of this channel, which is, I'm gonna watch her latest video. Her latest video is called, Men Grow Up. Be brave, be vegan, start now. I am a man, my pronouns are he and him. I'm not a vegan, maybe I should start right now. Let's have a look. Cat milk is for baby cats. Dog milk is for baby dogs. Human milk is for baby humans. Cow's milk is for Gordon Ramsay. What the f How old is he? Welcome to class. Thank when you for having me. When the ready, the teacher appears. Beautiful. Teenage boys and immature men often take a little longer than girls and women to become vegan. Mm. Because they're raised to think that pretending to lack compassion is cool. That's right, and gender is a concept. To the untrained eye, it might not seem like it, but glider guy... And many others are slowly becoming vegan. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay and Isaac Butterfield are becoming vegan. Okay. Painfully slow to watch because their cognitive dissonance is strong. But here are signs that they're headed there. <laughs> they're combative. They have their fists up. They're digging wow. in their heels. At first, they don't want to change. They're frightened and repulsed by the vegan messengers in front of them. They use ad hominem attacks to try to discredit these messengers. The messengers, the holy prophets of veganism. But it's not a religion. Veganism is an ethical stance. Sure. Point of the story is they're talking about ad hominem attacks. But in reality, this is what they do. They psychoanalyze those people. They're digging in their heels. They have cognitive dissonance, this and that, and yada, yada, yada. Ultimately, instead of talking about people that should become vegan in your worldview, why don't you address us ex-vegans that have been vegan for four, five, six, ten years even and had to drop out because of health issues. You do not talk about it because it doesn't fit your narrative. Makes them squirm and feel guilty. Deep down. <laughs> but how do you know? They know that paying for the suffering of others is wrong. How about the animals in the wild not paying for the suffering of others but actually do it for free? Hmm. But to admit that they are part of it is hard to acknowledge. I admit I am part of eating animals. I'm very happy about it. I wouldn't change a thing. Glory to God. These are all normal reactions to have at first. Yet they're still here on YouTube. Let me give you my personal anecdote because vegans love anecdotes. When I was a meat eater prior to veganism, I actually thought that eating animals isn't good and if we could we shouldn't really this was my stance prior to veganism there you can see that the brainwashing through disney etc was already very strong so for me to adapt veganism had nothing to do with cognitive dissonance i actually thought it is bad to eat animals and the only reason why i ate animals is because i thought we have to. But then, thank God to the vegan documentaries that convinced me that eating meat is not only wrong, but it is useless. It is pointless. You can thrive on plant-based protein. This is when I ditched meat for plants right away. There was no cognitive dissonance or whatnot. The point of the story is I, as so many other ex-vegans, got hit with reality. That is it. After a couple of years malnourishment, you realize the vegan ideology 
is not working in real life. Yet they're still here on YouTube saying the V word. Vegetables. They're slowly opening their eyes to the suffering that each animal goes through. The suffering, ah, oh, the torture. Slowly. And then you're wondering why more women become vegan. It is always an appeal to emotion. The vegans like to talk about philosophical tactics, appeal to nature fallacy, this an ad hominem attack, but it is always an appeal to emotion. Every single time. Learning about different vegan foods they can eat, learning about vegan athletes, and Googling vegan recipes. If you would <laughs> Google vegan athletes, you would find out that 99% drop out. They're thinking about the subject each time that they eat healthy veggies, fruits, nuts, seeds, lentils. Why are veggies healthy? Why? Can you tell me? Can you give me a reason why veggies are healthy? Why are seeds healthy? You are not a bird. Seeds are absolutely toxic to humans. Why are lentils healthy? Why? Give me a reason. Full with lectins. They should be called lectins and not lentils. What is healthy about this? You have no idea. You simply parrot what you've been told. Rice, oats, beans, and other vegan foods. Blech. Like vegan lasagna, vegan pizza, vegan... The only good thing left on the pizza is the topping. That's the only good thing. The cheese, the meat, and it's very little of it. Mamma mia! Wow. On camera, they're beginning to try and are getting used to soy milk. <laughs> what kind of indoctrination is this, man? Some sort of sissy training. Those men are getting used to soy milk. <laughs> Congratulations, Soyim. In their daily lives. More and more, they're noticing vegan products in stores. Congratulations. This is all you got. So essentially, you're just noticing products in the supermarket. I rest my case. You cannot find naturally occurring vegan foods. No, you can't. Of course, you're going to tell me, but vegetables are natural. No, they're not. They have to be cultivated. They cannot grow in most terrains. There's nothing natural about the vegan diet. Appeal to nature, fallacy. On menus, <laughs> they're becoming uncomfortable each time they bite into the flesh of someone who died <laughs> because they know believe me i'm very comfortable biting into the flesh delicious that this was someone not something wow this was a sentient being just like them no it's not just like me it's an animal i'm a human thank you very much who died begging for their life yeah it probably didn't beg for its life because it cannot beg and other than that, sorry to burst your bubble, animals die. We die as well. Everybody dies. <laughs> They're learning the difference between food and something that comes from violence. They now see <laughs> eggs and remember. How about plant production? Hmm, let's just forget about that. Plant production kills more animals than any carnivorous diet. In the industry, wow. the baby boys are murdered. They're not boys. Day old. Because they can never lay eggs and are considered to be useless. But those are the same people that are pro-abortion every single time. They remember my the body, baby my choice. And human baby but if I want to put some meat into my body, then it's not my choice. These two that they've delicately held in their own hands and they start to make connections. When will she start crying? I'm waiting. <laughs> Opening their hearts to the vulnerable. But progress can seem slow because it takes 100 clicks until someone can become vegan. What? These teenage boys and immature men have to understand the facts first, yet they do not know them all because they lack the courage to open their eyes to the full truth. Some still refuse to watch the documentaries like Earthlings, uh, the Dominion Movement. Okay, I literally watched them all. So why am I not vegan anymore? Cowspiracy, Do I have to watch them again? Seaspiracy, etc. Watch them all. So they have not yet had the opportunity to open their hearts <laughs> to the suffering of others. But I did. They lie to themselves and they say they know what goes on 
in these industries. I know what goes on. They don't. Aside from that, actually visiting farms and seeing that it's nothing like those movies, those slaughter porn movies that are in many cases staged by the so-called activists. If you would dive deep into so-called, yet again, animal activism, you would see that they are staging those brutal scenes. Yes, it is absolutely disgusting. They will do anything for their cause. They are torturing animals needlessly in order to prevent you from eating meat. It is crazy. Go out and see for yourself. Most farms are nothing like this. Because you can't know something until you internalize it. The walls have to come down. I was vegan for four years. Seriously, what the fuck are you doing? What triggers someone to become an ethical vegan? It's different for everyone, but what might begin to lead them there could be if something sad happened in their lives. <laughs> Often when so you admit that you have to be emotionally traumatized in order to become vegan. Congrats. People suffer a loss, such as a breakup, death of a family member, or physical injury. Something triggers in them. To connect to the animal. Wow, that's what you need in order to eat plants. It sounds like a healthy movement. Sometimes a new friend appears who encourages them to let down their guard hmm. and tap into the Just open your heart to the holy gospel of the animals and pray to our Lord Tofu. Higher selves. Sometimes it takes a new friend to say, Hey you, don't forget. You were born vegan. <laughs> this is amazing. You were born vegan. Forget about mother's milk, which is an animal food. You were born vegan. The first thing that you had was Satan. Check out the Satan Appreciation Society. There is a ton of Satan uh, recipe creators in that group. And if this doesn't remind you of religion, then I do not know what. This is a classical revert story. I didn't convert. I reverted to veganism. I always been vegan. I was born vegan wanted to hurt animals it's in your nature to be kind to them i beg to differ no don't eat it no hey. oh <laughs> no They finally understand and empathize with the animal's suffering. They finally see the victims. I mean, really see them. The Let's reinvent the wheel. As if farmers haven't invented the least painful empathetic methods. We, as the apex predator, kill with the most compassion. Compare our slaughter methods to any animal in the wild. What are you talking about? Dragon eggs going to slaughter. The despair in each moment that chickens are forced to endure on factory farms and the injustice of pulling a baby boy cow away from his mother. It's not a baby boy. To steal his milk. To steal his milk? It is then that these boys and men will weep knowing that they were part of it for so long. I then, was part of it for a very long time, then I wasn't for four years straight. Now I regret that I wasn't eating meat for four years. If I could turn back time, I would never go vegan. Their vegan declaration day can come. <laughs> when the oh ready, man, the vegan declaration day, the holy shahada. The teacher appears. In your view, finally the vegan teacher appears. Which one of them? <laughs> will become a vegan animal rights activist first. Wow, how about none? <laughs> oh man. All right, guys, and this is it, the first time that I reacted to the vegan teacher. I didn't even see her in this video. Hello, students. Did you hear about the cat? So if anything, we reacted to her ideas and not her personally, which makes this the absolute opposite of an ad hominem attack. So that is absolutely beautiful. Nobody can tell me I'm a bigoted meat eater. I actually criticize the ideas behind it. What we can see here, as always, is absolute traumatized speech. Traumatized through Disney, traumatized through whatnot. Simply an appeal to emotion all the way 
through. Put on sad music and talk about the victims and I won't eat flesh no more. Here you can see all her signs that she put up. Feminism equals veganism. Yeah, because feminism is wrong. So therefore I do agree. Being a vegan activist is the least we can do if we want to malnourish ourselves. Eat dates, not dogs. Okay. Eat beans, rice plus lentils if you want to fart. Let's be vegan from now on. Have fun and let me know how it goes in a couple of years. They all gonna turn ex-vegan. The vegan teacher in She's already super old. She won't be able to maintain her diet. As far as I know, she has been a vegan only for a couple of years as well. So she has reserves of her whole lifetime. Just give her a couple more years and if she doesn't drop out, she will even further disintegrate. She will become even more mentally deranged. It is always the same pattern that we observe. If you don't drop out of veganism, veganism drops you like a hot potato. Very hot potato. You simply become sicker and sicker and sicker, physically and mentally. It is always the same because you are going against human nature. If you don't eat a species-specific diet, you will suffer. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. Do me the favor, check them out. Maybe there is something for you there. Okay, but this is it. As always, may God bless you all. Please don't go vegan and much love and peace.